a good lunch. Um, there's a few snacks over on the table and some bottled water. Um, and that's it. What you see is what you got. That's as good as it gets. Um, but anyway, um, and I didn't bring my schedule over here, but um, anyway, this, our next speaker is going to be talking on uh, forgiveness and, re and reconciliation. It's, um, I know him as Scott Hurd, but I guess when he's writing, he signs his name R. Scott Hurd. But anyway, it, it is Scott Hurd. He um, works for the um, Catholic Charities USA, which is like the headquarters for all of the Catholic Charities, and his office is in Arlington, Virginia, and uh, not too not too far from here. And I, I guess he live you live in that area. I do. Um, anyway. Um, I used to work near there, and um, am grateful not to be the, not to be working near there, uh, but, and it, for more reasons than one. But although I miss some of the people some of the time, but anyway, um, Scott has um, over the course of the year of um, several years, he's written uh, three books and two little like Lenten or Advent type meditation booklets, and. Um, Around the table is the latest, last one, and it's on, it's based on the Eucharist and um, retelling the story of the Eucharist through the eyes of Jesus's first followers. And like I said before, I didn't get this in Jerusalem, but this is the this um, I forgot what they call it. Um, anyway, this is a, the flooring of the in the. Church of the Primacy of Peter. Have you been there? Okay. Um, but very pretty. And it's little. Yeah, they called it mountains, but it ain't nothing. It isn't anything more than an anthill <laughs> down from the um, multiplication of loaves and fishes. But anyway, he wrote another book on forgiveness, a Catholic approach, and he brought some here. Anybody who's interested in purchasing one or two or whatever, and then. Another one that the other book that he wrote was When Faith Feels Fragile, Help for the Weary, Weak, and Wandering. Anyway, um, I know he'll be good. And so you all enjoy. He'll, he'll tell you more about his, what he wants you to know. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne, and uh, it's a real joy and, and honor to be with you all um, this afternoon. I was debating, you know, should I come in a suit? Um, and I thought it's, yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's high July and it's uh, 100 degrees feeling like outside, so I dress casually and I see that I, uh, I made the right decision. So, um, I do not have a PowerPoint presentation for this talk, and I'm getting a thumbs up in the back, <laughs> because um, we all have been subjected to death by PowerPoint type presentations, and I do not intend to give one today, primarily because this is going to be not as much a presentation, but more so a, a dialogue um, on the topic of forgiveness and reconciliation in particular as it applies to those persons who have experienced separation and divorce. And as a sort of a, a, a launching pad for our conversation, um, I have what I call a forgiveness quiz. Um, it's very low tech um, and there's no, not necessarily right or wrong questions. This is just a little exercise that I, I give to folks so that they can begin to wrap their, thank you very much, begin to wrap their minds around the topic of forgiveness and reconciliation, because they're two different things, right? That's an important distinction that we're going to underscore over and over again. Um, so I would ask everyone just to look at this for a minute. Um, please feel free to... Um, circle and, and make notes, and then at the bottom of that sheet is a question, how would I define forgiveness? So after you all have spent a few minutes with this, um, we're going to attempt to come up with a working definition of forgiveness 
And then we're going to make our way through some of these questions. And that's going to give us an opportunity to, to go off in other directions and for you to ask some of the questions that you might have. Does that sound good? Great. So why don't we take, oh, four minutes and um, go through this little forgiveness quiz. Thank you. 